Hello friends and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions, my name is Nick and today we're going to be checking out The Human Trait by developer Eric Lepin. This is a platform with a little bit of an introverted exploratory twist to it and what I would say is probably the closest thing to compare it to would be something like a 2D version of something like Antichamber, uh, where we've got this world that we don't quite entirely understand uh, but we're going to be revealing little bits of it while also learning a little bit about ourselves throughout the process. Uh, so the opening screen here says this is a guy writing down one of his most life-shaping experiences, an experience so extraordinary yet at the same time so normal. Come along and let me tell you what it is all about. So we'll press space to play. We stand up from our desk and all of a sudden you can see uh, this beautiful radial mosaic of colors flashing into life on the screen. It's uh, maybe not exactly a radial mosaic, but the, uh, the tiles are a bit of a mosaic in a way. So uh, basically all we need to do here is run and jump and swing and play and look around and see what we can find, and each time we find a new way to approach this world, we'll be rewarded with sort of like a little fortune cookie about existence, or our existence specifically. So number 29, uh, it is about going left when everyone else goes right. So we're going to be releasing little nuggets of information one at a time uh, as we look around and see what we can see. And it also reminds me a little bit of the the sort of exploratory strange qualities of something like a boy in his blob, although we're not really in search of treasure here as much as we're in search of uh, just the world in general, I suppose. Got a nice idle animation too. So it's a nice relatable character, you know? Nothing nothing too crazy, but it gets the job done. This is created in Game Maker also, which I have to say props on that. Looks great. Uh, this does not go anywhere, so apparently we can keep moving and see what else there is to see down here. Uh, even though the, the landscape is made up of some very simplistic geometry, it kind of doesn't matter. Uh, six, it is always, or it is about always landing on your feet. Fair enough. Uh, it kind of doesn't matter what the geometry is like and what the details specifically are like, because this is really more about a metaphorical journey, uh, and really the landscape that we traverse uh, could really be attainable by any form. It doesn't have to necessarily be something like this. Uh, so we can work our way up this ladder here, and there's actually, it looks like a couple of paths we can take. I'm just going to keep going up and up and see where this goes, if anywhere. And uh, this is a great soundtrack also, I have to say. I only listened to this for a little bit. I played about two or three minutes while I was doing my sound check. And I have to say, I was really uh, taken aback by quite how cool this soundtrack is. Just noticed a little bit of a police siren, and there's all sorts of different hints of electronica moments and various other things going on, but it all weaves in very nicely, and I even noticed at certain points it felt like, and I'm not 100% sure if this is actually going on or if it was just in my imagination, uh, but it seemed like the soundtrack was triggering tiles to change, and now it doesn't seem to be doing that as much, but when it was doing that little snare hit or the, you know, the, the rim hit, it was actually doing uh, like a little bit of a transformative thing on the screen as well. Maybe that was just a coincidence then. So I seem to be going up uh, pretty much indefinitely here, and I don't know if this is just one of those uh, Mario 64 endless stair conundrums. Maybe I need to come back here later. Or maybe it's a test of my patience to find out if I just have the, uh, the patience required to make it all the way up and the endurance to make it all the way up to the top of this ladder. I'm going to say for the sake of the quality of this video, though, maybe I will forego searching further on and we will hop off. It did seem like we were maybe actually making some vertical progress, though. It seemed like we were going higher and higher as we went up. Uh, but then we've fallen down, and it said it's about knowing when to stop chasing, so I guess maybe that was actually intended. Although, you never know, maybe it wasn't. Maybe I was still supposed to go up and they reward you in both directions. Could be any way. Uh, and in case you were wondering, uh, arrow keys to control, super simple, spacebar to interact with stuff. There's basically no controls really worth mentioning other than that. Uh, apparently I could make this full screen as well, so that's the only other thing. Uh, it's about revisiting places you thought you knew. I did think I knew this place, but maybe it is an entirely different place. I thought it was a different color, actually, and uh, I don't think geometrically it would fit where we ended up since we went down and then down again. That is about falling unexpectedly, that is true, and that was number one. That was our first most virtuous observation, I suppose. Number one, falling unexpectedly. That's maybe a little bit sad. Alright, I seem to be able to teleport here. And that does actually have a sound cue in the soundtrack each time, so there is a little bit of that going on, whether or not it happened the other time, I'm not entirely sure of. Alright, so there seems to be a way that we can get through there from that, but is that the proper way, or is there a way that I can somehow cheat through this and get... No, okay, I think it is going to send me through that same path every single time. Fair enough, no problem. Uh, it's about accepting illogical events. 
Well, I mean, yeah, I guess to a certain degree, life is a little bit about accepting logical events, but I think uh, most of us, if we're of a cynical, maybe it's not cynical, but more skeptical nature, uh, we'll want to look deeper within ourselves and within others to try and find the information uh, that gives us some sort of insight into why those events were illogical in the first place and maybe sort of demystify them if possible. So our choice is left or right. I've historically gone left just about every time when that's come up. I feel like we're being presented with the uh, red or blue uh, conundrum from Antichamber right now. So I'm going to go left again. And this looks like a different path each and every time. So I guess we can continue downward. Really pretty colors as well. And you may notice this is also seeming maybe a little bit evocative. This background right here uh, might be reminding you somewhat of my avatar image that I've been using on YouTube for the last couple of years. Uh, in case anyone's ever wondered, because I get this question a lot, that's actually my face. Um, I had a college portfolio of graphic design stuff, and I actually uh, had a very augmented version of my face, uh, which was then covered in a mosaic of colors that were just basically a game uh, turned into very pixelated graphics and overlaid over my face. So that's, if you ever wanted to know, that's what that's about. It's about finding that sometimes your choices don't really matter, so I suppose if I had gone right there, I might have ended up in the same place anyway. I really, really like the, the flipping of those tiles as we go past them. It's sort of like uh, some of those artists that do work in post-it notes, where they just have thousands and thousands of them in different colors, and they all form a greater image. Sort of something that seems slightly evocative there. I'm not sure if that is at all intended, but uh, given that our theme could be writing, I think that actually would make some sense, wouldn't it? And it actually acts as a pretty interesting way to... Uh, make the platforming elements of the game a little bit more interesting as well, because we can see them very vaguely, sort of like a, a very light silhouette uh, through the gray uh, in the outside of the Fog of War realm that we're looking inside of. Uh, it is about realizing the most difficult route doesn't necessarily give you the greatest reward. Well, that's... yeah, that is definitely true, isn't it? Really, you should choose whatever path is the most self-rewarding, if that's a thing to say, or rewards you most in its own way. Alright, so let's zoom out of there. 25 is about realizing the easiest route is often the best. Well, I guess we could kind of take issue with that statement at times, but sometimes it can be the path of least resistance can be useful, uh, depending on things. But if you coast through everything, then, you know, you might not find much resistance, and then you might never find your true calling, which maybe took some work and practice you know, a lot of the virtues that I think a lot of us eschew, that was awful. Uh, <laughs> it is about the furious pain when everything turns out to be over with in the blink of an eye. Mm. Wow, that's surprisingly dark all of a sudden. Uh, there isn't anywhere else to go with this, unfortunately. It seems that I am actually just dead. I did not expect something like that to happen. I figured this was going to be one of those feel-good games, that the end of it would be us coming to some sort of gestalt-like situation. Oh! We waited it out, we came back! I was just about to wrap up the episode, but the game wanted to uh, provide me with some sort of happy conclusions here, because sometimes, in order to get to the good stuff, you gotta go through the bad stuff, right? I think that's what the most redeeming quality could be here, but I can't get out of this pit, though. This isn't E.T., I can't just bend my neck. And, uh, and find my way out of this conundrum. What, what am I going to do with this? I seem to be actually stuck down here. Was it the fact that I waited all of that time? That is what made me stand back up. Is it a bug? Was I intended to stay down there forever? I'm not entirely sure. I'm not seeming to be able to leave, though. So unless the game is going to reward me for standing here long enough, I'm not sure what happens next. Maybe I should just stand in place and do an outro at this point. Oh! There's a timer! Sometimes you just have to be patient. Oh, wait, the timer went away. Is it testing me again? I really like uh, these sort of psychological games that sort of mess with your head a little bit and make you question. Yeah, there it is. I actually waited through the timer even though the timer stopped showing itself. That is about patiently waiting for a miracle to happen. Well, sometimes it can be. Uh, it shouldn't always depend on things like that, though. You should do everything you can to try and make your own miracles for yourself if you can. That's my take on it. Uh, don't worry, you won't fall. I don't feel like I can trust this guy. Also, am I not wearing any shoes? Uh, there might be shoes there, it's kind of hard to say. Um, Alright, so is the... Which is the thing gonna be here? Is it gonna be, you should always trust people at the edge of cliffs telling you you won't fall? Because I've had patches of the hyena uh, give me information like this before, and it wasn't good information. 
Well, what are my other options right now? It's either fall, don't fall, or try and go back in this direction, which I can't even do, so uh, it's one or the other. Let's uh, put our blind trust in this stranger here. Hey, I didn't fall. Not always the best idea, to be honest. You should probably have reasonable expectations. Don't worry, you won't fall. This time I feel like he's trying to deceive, deceive me. And, well, I'm not entirely sure what just happened there. Um, I... I can't fall, but I'm doing some other weird little dance. Can I fly? I'm holding up, and instead of jumping, though, I just seem to not be falling. It's about that awkward feeling you have when you're just starting out. Uh, that feels like you're floating in midair, everything around you has stopped moving, your whole body is tingling, and you know uh, from the inside you found the gate to happiness. That is not necessarily a feeling that I'm very well acquainted with, apparently. Uh, that one's new to me, but I'll take your word for it. You should go down. Uh, Alright, well, I guess you haven't led me wrong so far. Hopefully this isn't the time. Alright, seems like there's stuff here. I kind of want to go up as well. Can't I have both? Why not both? Oh, well, that seems to have been the end of that. So, falling, illogical, safe landing, choices, waiting, reward, easiest, going left, that feeling, pain, revisiting, chasing, life shaping. Those are all the experiences I've had. So there's 42 experiences in total. I guess everyone's path is going to be a little bit different, and I think that's a really nice reward to spend some time and wander around in this very atmospheric world to try and find everything you can find and add to this list. I assume these will be uh, ever-increasing and, you know, continually unlock the more you play the game, so uh, it's not like you'll have to necessarily do them all in one go. At least that's what I would assume. If I'm wrong on that, then my apologies, I haven't played through this a second time quite yet. Uh, but the human trait gets a big two thumbs up for me, I really enjoyed it. This was something that I can easily recommend to you guys. In fact, uh, given a little bit of perspective and a little bit more time on this one, I may even consider putting this in my top ten. I think this is a really good game. Uh, simple, accessible, Something that everyone can find something to appreciate about, hopefully something or other in there. Maybe you don't agree with every single sentiment that's expressed, but in life, when do we ever agree with everything unilaterally across the board? I don't think that's necessarily a thing that happens very often. So I would recommend that you go check this out. It is totally free. Link's going to be in the description. Let me know what your experiences were with the human trait in the... Uh the comments below, if you don't mind, I'd love to hear a little bit about this one from your side of the fence. Of course, feel free to check out some of my other information. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about me, of course, I have plenty of other stuff you can find out, which is also going to be in the description, my Twitter, my Facebook, my Twitch page where I stream, and of course, indie-impressions.com is my website where I post every day's new episode. Uh, so you can feel free to check through there. They're all sorted and categorized really for a specific type of game or even free games versus paid games. You can sort them all that way as well. Uh, so go check it out, see what you can find, something for pretty much everybody over there, and do please come back again tomorrow. New episodes of Indie Impressions go up every single day. I do really, really appreciate any support that you leave, so if you enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like. It helps me out quite a bit. helps the channel grow by having new people find the videos. So, you know, every little bit helps, and I do appreciate it. So have a lovely night, thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.